let's begin then, Harmi, on a subject that we have spoken about last week and a couple of times before that. Uh, Johnny Bairstow saying that he hasn't spoken to anybody about what his role might be in India, whether he'll just bat or whether he'll keep wicket. Um, I, and, and it is an interesting question, isn't it, whether Bairstow and Folks can both fit into the same eleven, And ha- is it possible even that Folks has been selected and might not keep? It's an interesting conundrum amongst many conundrums that, uh, <laughs> that we've, we've, uh, we're about to face in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, we're going to face some big conundrums when it comes to the, the spin bowling option, um, how they're going to how they're going to utilize their bowling unit without the fifth bowler, the fifth bowler likely to be Joe Root. Um, they they've got Stella Batten when it comes to this is the best batting unit that they've got. How do the how do they fit them in? Do you? Uh, is there a, an argument for Root going to three with him being your best batter and being successful in, in India before? Um, all these conundrums are, especially from the batting department, is how can you get Johnny Besto into the team without him being wicketkeeper? keeper? And can you do that? And I'm not sure you can. So there's be some big calls, you know, whether it be Ollie Pope or one of the two openers. You know, duck it's a, duck it's a must because he's, he plays spin very, very well. Uh, Crawley had a brilliant Ashes, and it just looked as though Zach Crawley's eventually cementing himself as a, a mainstay in this in the team uh, on merit um, because of his performances in 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 the big series and uh, against Australia. Then you've got Pope, who's been out for a long period of time. Where does Johnny Besto fit in? You've given Ben Folks the the luxury of a, a central contract, which is basically saying we're going to. You know, we, we believe that you are going to keep wicket for us over a period of time in the next 12 months. And that would suggest that it's going to be these five test matches. Um, and unfortunately, you know, eight doesn't go into seven. And I think that is uh, the, the big talking point is where does Besto fit in? Um, me personally, I'd like Root to go to number three um, because he's our best player. And I think then you can fit Johnny in in the middle order. Um, but if, if Ollie Pope stays at three and Root goes to four, then unfortunately it's either Besto or Folks. And that again, comes back to the preparation that I mentioned in the last couple of weeks, is that if you aren't on the ground and then all of a sudden you put yourself under pressure because you start losing games and the batting order is not firing, the, the, big, the big temptation and the big call will be well, we need more runs. So we'll drop folks and we'll play a best though. And for me, you've got to you've got to you've got to get away from reacting to that because I can see that happening. And you know, you've got to pick your best you pick your best gloveman. And that for me, the best gloveman would probably be Ben Folks. But the best package will be always be the same argument, will be Johnny Besto. Is Johnny Besto in a better position now to keep than what he was during the ashes? After having such a long time out, is he fit enough physically to to stand up for five test matches? Is the body fit enough to do that as well as bat and you know potentially get hundreds? Um, these are questions that you know the, the time in Abu Dhabi and the short time in India is going to tell whether you know where we get to the first test matches. But I can't wait to see what that first eleven is going to be because. We only have to have four, our four frontline bowlers because you know, England will want to have the luxury of that number seven being their batter wicketkeeper. All right. One thing that we haven't um, asked about this England team is whether they'll have the courage to do anything um, since um, the, uh, the, the Ben Stokes, Brendan McCullum axis took charge. Um, they've, they've never, ever lacked for courage. Um, so I, just, this is a completely left field, silly question. But let's say... They turn up in Hyderabad, Harmi, and um, from two days out, there's not a blade of grass on the wicket. And uh, when there's a when there's a, a slight um, puff of wind, there's a puff of dust as well coming up from the pitch before we've bowled a ball. So we're talking a lot about will England play a second spinner? Will they go in with four bowlers and Joe Root's the fifth bowler? But in days gone by in the 70s and, and, and 80s even, India in those conditions used to play three spinners. And in fact, a couple of years ago, in the last England tour, they played three spinners. 
um, and one seamer. I mean, Sunil Gavaskar used to take the new ball for a couple of overs before the spinners got got to work. So, Jack Leach, Rian Ahmed, do you think there's any possibility at all um, that that England will say, okay, right, we'll we may not be able to match you, but we'll try. If India go for the three spinner, Ashwin, Jadeja, and Akshar Patel, is that is that even even possible? I mean, we're talking extreme, right? They walk out there, not a blade on the grass, but it's going to turn from from before lunch on day one. I think Rohit Sharma's I think Rohit Sharma's press conference in South Africa tells us that the next five <laughs> test matches are going to turn sideways off the off the back. And he had a great point, and he met it brilliantly, and he did. To be fair, and we'll come on to the South African series a little bit later in the show, but. He's right. You know, if you're going to play on green wickets and it's going to zip about a bit, don't complain when you come to India and it turns. So I think he more or less told the England captain in the England camp that you're coming to India for five test matches and it's going to spin. I can see England playing two seamers, two spinners, and Joe as the third spin bowler. I think they'll rotate the two quick bowlers in in Anderson and, and, um, and Atkinson. Uh, sorry, Wood and Atkinson. And then you've got one from Robinson and... And, and Anderson. It wouldn't surprise me if Hartley plays in the first Test match. I think that tall, that Axar Patel, like you know, a little bit taller, drives into the surface. I think I think England will. It'll be between obviously Rian Ahmed and, and 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 Hartley for that second spinner spot. I don't have a problem with England playing Hartley and Leach. And people might say, well, you're playing two left arm spin bowlers. I think they're different. I think Hartley comes, you know, from a, a, a sort of higher release point. A bit like Axar Patel, and that for me is I don't have a problem with that. So I'm, I'm expecting if everybody's fit and everybody's firing and everybody's you know ready to go for that first test, I think it'd be Wood and Anderson, and it'll be Hartley and, and Leach. That's probably the way I would go with what is in front of us, and then Leach and then Joe would be our fifth bowler, stroke third spin bowler if it gets to that extreme. So. I think England will play two seamers in 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 every test, and then they'll 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 choose the second spin option according to a how people are performing, um, and b the surfaces that are you know they're put in front of England. But make no mistake, this is going to turn for five for five test matches, and I think Rohit Sharma just to give a little indication at the end of this African series that that is going to happen. What about India? Um, it's really interesting. Uh, England's preparation taking place in Abu Dhabi. India's preparation is a T20 series against Afghanistan. And um, the the word in the Indian camp for, for months now is uh, how Ajit Agarka and his selection panel are going to break the news to Virat Kohli that uh, he's not going to feature in the T20 World Cup. Um, but uh, the selectors have just recalled um, Virat Kohli and Ra- Captain Rohit Sharma, as well as Akshar Patel, for that series. Uh, a, a T20 series against Afghanistan to prepare for a five five match test series. It's fascinating, isn't it? Um, but but then again, I suppose you know uh, that's the way of the modern test game. Um, like for South Africa, Kahisa Rabada didn't play a first class game, let alone I mean didn't play a test match or or even a single first class game for eight months before that first test against India. So you know the old notion of of preparation. Is um, is out the window, as Ben Stokes told you last week. Yeah, it is. Um, but it, at least they are preparing on surfaces which are very similar to what they potentially could be playing on. So, like I said, you know, last week when you talked about about it, it's they're playing in their own back garden. They know these surfaces. They understand what the wickets are going to be like. They've just played a you know a short test series in in South Africa. I'm very intrigued. I was very intrigued to see Virat Kohli in that squad for. The Afghanistan series. I thought he would be not so much left out or rested for you know potentially not playing in the World T20 because I, I think it would be madness if you went into the World T20 without Rohit Sharma and, and, and Virat Kohli, the two of the you know two of the greatest players of that format um, that's ever been. And I still think there's miles in them to to get to Caribbean and and, and America. So. No surprise that they're back, but I thought they might have been rested and waited for the for, for England coming. But you know, that's a tough series. We've seen how good Afghanistan played in, in the World Cup. That that's not a an easy, easy contest between India and Afghanistan. So to see them playing was a little bit of a surprise. India have got a good side. India have got a really good side at home. 
I know there's been a lot talked about the preparation. England could have gone to India for six weeks and prepared the best possible and still come on the losing side if things don't go right for them, i.e. tosses and little bits of DRS. Because DRS will come in massively in this series. Because when spin is in, in play, you know, DRS becomes even more. And, and if you get the rub of the green with an umpire's call, especially for somebody like Joe Root or Ben Stokes, and they get it on their side, and all of a sudden, you know, you, you make here when things do go your way. So England need all that to go their, their favour. You look down the list of players that are playing for India and the, what potentially could be their team. They've got some headaches in the middle. Um, you know where the you know where you know, who bats in that in that middle order, but I think when you look at the the, the side of whether the player be interesting to see what seam seam options they've got, but when you look at Jadeja Ashwin, potentially Axel Patel, you've got Bumrah Shami, who is one of the probably the best seamers in the world at this moment in time. Um, they've got a very very strong bowler new to, to back up their batting. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.